Hi, welcome to another episode from development of the F Nixie tube. Currently, I'm trying to learn techniques how to make a glass base called Sten. And I'm fighting several problems. And uh, for one of the problems, I'm trying to find a solution today. So that problem is that the glass inside of the stem, when I'm trying to melt it, it doesn't melt enough. And uh, I need to find a way how to bring more heat to it. In one of the previous videos I told you about the machine that Radim is building, the burning machine. So it's taking shapes finally. Few more items and it will be working. So for the next iteration we will need to control the direction of the torches. This is not possible with the way I hold the torches in hand right now. So I'm building a jig here that will hold the burners and I will be able to set the positions exactly and also uh, have one nozzle that is pointing towards the center. The new burner setup is prepared. Uh, the next thing I need to do is to machine a new lower mold. Uh, I want to make two changes. Uh, first of them, I want to use stainless steel instead of uh, cast iron because the stainless steel has lower heat conductivity. So I hope it will take less heat from the glass. 
And the next thing I want to simplify the mold by removing the exhaust pipe. So for now I want to experiment with this and once I learn how it melts inside I will uh, return it back. The easier part machining of the stainless steel is done and now the scary part drilling with this tiny little drill bit. Okay, so the mechanical part seems to be finished. We have here three burners. The interesting thing is that these are the exact same type burners that are mentioned in the RCA document. It's, it's found that you can still after 70 years order the same parts from the same company. So these two nozzles will be aiming to the glass ring all the time. And this one is movable, so I can heat the center and then take it out before pressing the glass. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. So maybe I will use the hand torch to heat the center this time because I don't have space here. Okay, that's not fun. So, first try just without pins.
course it's stuck because we don't have pins there so the, the ejector doesn't work so this time with pins fortunately because now we have the holes for the glass conical it was really easy to clean glass Looks like the holes are a little bit smaller than the holes that were made with the same drill bit in the cast iron. So I will increase them a little bit. So the holes were increased to from 1 mm to 1.2. So now there is a little bit wiggle in it, too much clearance.
The new burners works well. Uh, it's very convenient that I don't have to hold all, all the burners uh, in my hand. So I have like one hand free for the handheld torch and one hand I can operate the press. Uh, it's too early to say anything uh, because I just tried like five or six times and it doesn't look so bad, but for sure I will need to learn it. Uh, I will leave the analysis of the problems for the next video. So, so stay tuned for the next video.